you're looking for us new graduates, entrepreneurs, and a kind of like Mark, you want to start with that? You, you being one of the youngest people up there, if not the youngest? Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, it's interesting. If I start getting into this whole Lowell County executive working with the regional partners and hearing what's going on in the city of Detroit, the answer is to try to figure out how do we retain the kids that are going through college, keeping them here at home. There's a multitude of things I think they do that. Number one is providing job opportunities, trying to figure out how to grow those opportunities. I know at the state level they're focused on trying to make that opportunity available for you to sort of jobs and what will be of interest to you. But one of the other is quality of life aspects. I got to tell you, I'm excited when I come down to the city of Detroit. Just came back from Chicago and one day trip out there uh, on a Monday and I'm looking around at what's going on and realizing how exciting it is, how vibrant people always talk about Chicago. And the unfortunate reality is why you're telling them Detroit is really one of those hope. But we're seeing the downtown area and some of the exciting things that are happening. And those are the things that I think are really of interest to the kids equally as, as to the job issue and wanting them to stick around. So my job as county executive is working with these regional partners to figure out how to lift up the region so people are proud of the fact that they live here, that they have a job here, and people are going to want to stay here after they get their college degrees for those engineering jobs, working in the manufacturing facilities. And um, we put them up so that they have a quality of life aspect. They too are proud of the city of Detroit because there's a lot happening in the downtown area. And I know Mike's going to be charged with the responsibility of dealing with the neighborhoods, providing services, and I'm confident that he's going to be able to do that as soon as this emergency manager moves on and gives him full reign uh, to run the city like people elected him to do. But you're going to see the trend that we've seen in this country for a while, which is if you got a college degree or you have skills, your future is going to be really bright and you're going to do well. Uh, but if you come out of a school system uh, where you haven't been well, well trained, you don't have skills, you haven't been to college, uh, the, the, the gap in this country has never been uh, this great. One of the things that I spent quite a bit of time last night talking to the vice president about was how do we create school systems and training and job opportunities linked together? Uh, and, and for people who are college is a great choice. But we have got huge shortages in all the skilled trades and all kinds of advanced manufacturing jobs. These are good paying jobs. You've got the mines here who are designing the vehicles. Who's going to build them? Uh, and we got to do a whole lot better job of creating a path uh, for everybody uh, to get into those kinds of careers. Now, I had the good uh, fortune of having four kids. I lost one, as you may know. But they all four were living in Oakland County. People down here with that. So I showed him my will, the last paragraph, but he <laughs> made the comment. Yeah, you're, you're sharing one of your siblings. Uh, I, to answer that question, and raise it, how do we keep the town here? It's very simple. Let's, let's create jobs. I think the reason the young lady or young man leaves his family and his friends and he goes to, to uh, you know, West and Boston, Chicago, wherever it might be, is because they couldn't find anything here. And if people can, if we're coming back, we're creating more jobs. Thank you guys. We talked about that earlier. More jobs are creating more life savings. We're going to have our own kids stay here. And uh, that's why I truly believe the job will be the, the, uh, the difference between these kids here. Uh, one, one beautiful thing out at OU, we, you know, with the school they started is the Medical School Association, Old University School and Bob Bowman School of Medicine. And they really are drafting the best and brightest, like for the first class. They have their third year opening. Opportunities are here. I think one of the keys that making sure that there is uh, 
opportunity to, to make sure we have that atmosphere. We've seen it downtown. Gilbert and others have really uh, have, you know, created that environment uh, of entrepreneurs and, and young people coming into the area and things like that. If you look at it historically, also what opens that up is immigration. Uh, and to make sure that we are a, a place that wants to welcome everybody who wants to come in here and to acknowledge their, their skill set uh, and, and their pride and tenacity and not only creating things but for, uh, you know, wanting to stay here because they think there's opportunity and they feel welcome here. And I think that, that's something that's really important because the, the students have now pushed the immigration to a different side but it does open up a whole environment of, of being welcoming and people, especially young people, 